Hello and welcome to another Keyshot Quick Tip. This video will touch on material animations in Keyshot 6 Pro, which now includes Keyshot animation at no additional cost. There are two types of material animations in Keyshot 6 Pro, color fade and number fade. In this example, you can see the number fade being used to animate the lights turning on, while the color fade is used to animate color variations of the product. Color fade animations can be applied to nearly any material parameter that is controlled by a color value, such as the diffuse color of this plastic. Number fade animations can be applied to nearly any material parameter that is controlled by a number, such as the power value of this area light. There are a few different ways to add material animations, so let's delete these and I'll show you how. The first thing we need to do is select and edit the material we wish to animate. In this case, I'll start with the LEDs. The first method I want to show is through the material graph. As you can see, the power of the light is currently set to 0 lumens, which I want to animate to 250. So I'll right click in the work area, navigate to the animation flyout, and add a number fade. When this happens, you'll see it added to the animation timeline. Drag the output connection to the area light input to see the animatable parameters, and select power. Double click the number fade animation node, and input the desired values and time settings. Or just drag the node in the timeline and scrub through to preview. Now let's animate the color change of the main housing. Again, select and edit the material. Here I'll show you how to add material animations directly through the Material tab. This checker icon indicates that a parameter is texturable and animatable. Just right click on it and select the animation type you wish to add. Or from the Textures tab, do the same on the thumbnail button. I know I want this color fade to occur between 10 and 16 seconds, so I'll start by adjusting the time settings. The color fade will be controlled by this gradient widget. I want the color to change from black to white to red, so I'll add a new stop, adjust it to white, and adjust the end stop to red, and preview by scrubbing the timeline. You can adjust the behavior of the fade by selecting each stop and moving the control points. But in this case, I'd like to avoid the intermediate gray and pinkish colors, so I'll add a fourth stop and make it white. This gives me greater control and allows for sharper transitions to minimize the visibility of the intermediate colors. With number and color fade in Keyshot 6 Pro, you're now able to communicate even more through your animations. For more helpful tips, subscribe to our channel at youtube.com slash keyshot3d and go to keyshot.com learning to find more videos, tutorials, and quick tips.